Afternoon, good evening passengers, Mega Sim here for a news article. Dovetail Games have released a news article all about Metro North's Harlem Line. So should we get into the article? Uh, we've got the screenshots coming through as well, so let's read the article together. So we're live with the hustle and bustle of Big Apple Railroad in the famed Metro North Harlem Line is coming soon to Train Sim World 2. And it's Gary Dozol again. Dolzal. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Sorry, Gary. So, for anyone living north and east of New York City, the site of Metro North's M-Series EMUs is a truly familiar sight as the trains hustle commuters to and from the Big Apple on three busy lines. And soon, one of the New York City's region's busiest and most famous commuter routes, the Metro North Harlem Line, is coming to TSW2. So, it will extend from historic New York Grand Central Terminal to the North White Plains of New York. Shared from Grand Central Terminal to Mott Haven, which is 5.4 miles from GCT, with both Metro North's Hudson and New Haven line traffic, and onto Woodlawn, which is 11 miles away. With the MNCR New Haven line, the Metro North Harlem line then makes its own way, turning northeast and closely following the path of the Bronx River and to White Plains and North White Plains, which is 24 miles away from not GCT, but Grand Central Terminal. I think they need to just format that again. Anyway, as recreated for TSW2, the route will also include a short section of the Hudson Line extending from Mott Haven to Yankees, 153rd Street Station. So simply put, the Metro North Harlem Line is one of America's busiest and most captivating commutative routes. Between Grand Central and Woodlawn, the route is primarily four-track territory, with two or more tracks in service onto White Plains, North White Plains, sorry. So the line is fully electrified by a third rail, and the route will include 18 stations, of which Grand Central Terminal, Harlem 125th Street, White Plains, are the busiest and most renowned. In addition to being the site of a station, North White Plains is host to a major Metro North holding yard, as many Harlem Line trains originate or terminate there. Operations on the Harlem Line recent years have been predominated by MNCR's modern M7A EMUs and supplemented by the veteran M3A electrics. And both generations of EMUs will be included with the upcoming Trainsim World 2 route. Dressed in MNCR's distinctive silver and blue livery, the M7As were constructed by Bombardier and entered service in 2002, whereas the vulnerable M3As were built by Bud and date to 1984, before I was born. Although many have been upgraded. For those with a keen eye and appreciation for railroad history, the Harlem Line is also thoroughly appealing. The route was chartered by the New York and Harlem Railroad and was long part of the fabulous New York Central. New York Central in 1968 was merged with the Pennsylvania to form Penn Central. And in 1972, the MTA, the Metropolitan Transportation Authority, largely took over management of the line from the financially troubled by then, Penn Central. With Metro North's formation as an, in, an operating entity for MTA in the early 1980s, the Harlem Line in recent decades has seen a variety of enhancements, including station improvements across the length of the route and electrification of the line on north from North White Plains to Brewster, New York. Accordingly, a number of those EU EMU trains operating on the Grand Central Terminal North White Plains segment of the route originate or terminate at Brewster. Select trains also originate and terminate at Crestwood, which is 17 miles from GCT. In pre-pandemic days, though, approximately 88,000 passengers rode the Harlem Line weekday, on a typical weekday. The upcoming Harlem Line for Trains World 2 will authentically recreate the famed commuter rail route from the urban canyons of the Big Apple through the dense but often scenic suburbs of New York's Westchester County, and you'll have the opportunity to put the M3 and M7A EMUs through their paces in a selection of tutorials, five scenarios, and more than 260 timetable services. Gary Dozel. So, soon one of the New York's re region's busiest and most famous commuter routes is coming. So it will extend, as we said, from New York's Grand Central to the North White Plains in New York, and will feature the M7A, and the M3A. Now we already have the M7 and the M3 on Long Island Railroad. So are these the same trains? 
or because they have A on it, they're slightly different? Well, we will find out soon enough, unless you leave a comment down below and we'll be able to uh, see if there are any differences. So we have a lot of images, which is really nice uh, to see. Uh, we've got images of the M7A loading passengers at White Plains Station. We have it going over a bridge over some buses and some cars. Uh, we've got some in-cab shots as well of the M3A and the M7A. Again, they do look very similar to the Long Island Railroad edition of these trains. And we also have um, images of the passenger carriage, so inside looking at the seats. So yeah, they do look pretty good. I am looking forward to this route. Um, there is going to be suburban and urban settings in this, so that's going to be nice. Is there going to be a lot of tunnels? Possibly. I've not been on this route myself. Um, that's something that you know we'll be doing on Train Sim World 2 when it's released. Now, there aren't any uh, dates <coughs> as of yet um, for release. Um, but as we have got this first uh, news article, I'm guessing end of March, beginning of April. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that's uh, something that's going to happen? So we know that it's going to be the next route that's coming out, the Harlem Line. Will it be end of March, beginning of April? Could it be later? Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Because, you know, what's it called? Tracing World 2 Harlem Line Grand Central Terminal to North White Plains route. 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 I'm in England. It's route. Yeah. Anyway, I am looking forward to it. Let me know your comments down below. But if you do want to read the article yourself, take a look at the uh, link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And social media links are in the description as well. And our Discord server. But no, have a great evening, everyone. And we will see you on the next video. This is Mega Sim out of here. See you later, guys. Bye.